Studies in epigenetic regulation and lymphomas are identifying biomarkers that are clinically useful and also reveal important biological insights into how lymphomas function. One of the aspects of epigenetic regulation that I discussed today was the fact that lymphomas exhibit a great degree of epigenetic heterogeneity. That means that within the population of lymphoma cells, they, in a given patient, there's considerable cell-to-cell -cell variability in the distribution of cytosine methylation in particular. This is much more extreme than what is observed in tumor types like acute mild leukemia, for example, and seems to be a feature of diffuse large B cell lymphomas that may be inherited from their cell of origin, which is the germinal center B cell. And it turns out that the degree of heterogeneity is an indicator of how aggressive the disease is in the sense that the more heterogeneity, the more likelihood that there are populations of cells, there are clones of cells that have the right kinds of settings to survive exposure to chemotherapy drugs. In general, diversity, uh, the uh, epigenetic diversity and the genetic diversity of tumors is, uh, or of populations of individuals even, is a indicator of the likelihood of, or the fitness of the population to survive extreme variations. And so when populations of lymphoma cells contain many different possible epigenetic settings, then they're more likely to, then certain cells in that population will be more likely to survive chemotherapy, repopulate the disease, and from the clinical standpoint constitute the relapsing or refractory DLBCL subtypes. It turns out, for example, that heterogeneity is more, uh, is more frequent or more intense in patients with the ABC type DLBCLs, which goes along with their relapsing nature. This is perhaps in part related to the uh, high proliferation rate that's observed in these tumors because proliferation is one force that drives epigenetic diversification. However, there are other factors in lymphomas that contribute we think, for example, that the presence of AID, which is the enzyme that mutates in the globulins, might also have a role in changing methyl marks around because it cuts out cytosine residues. And, um, and there's evidence of the activity of AID enzymes in patients with ABCs, at least a subset of those patients. So various influences may contribute to this greater heterogeneity. And this is clinically important because it results in, in a lymphoma that is more fit when targeted by chemotherapy drugs. The, the good side is that, at the same time, these uh, status and methylation marks are, or patterns are, are reversible. And so there's the potential to use drugs that inhibit DNA methyltransferases to try and overcome some of the uh, deleterious effects of epigenetic heterogeneity in these tumors.